Hello and welcome back to EA's art channel. My name is Joachim Wiersma and as you can see today I'm going to talk about this uh, bear that I uh, drew or paint with my uh, pastel um, pencils and my pen pastels and a few uh, sticks. So I uh, thought it would be nice to, uh, as usual, to talk about the process I've been uh, uh, through to make this uh, bear. And also I'm going to talk a little bit more about the uh, actual colors that I've used. Maybe you noticed it already, but I used quite a lot of more colors than you normally would see on a bear. So um, I thought it would be nice to talk about that because I uh, would like to explain a little bit more why I like that. And it's basically because I like to give my paintings and drawings a little bit extra. As you may know, I always use uh, reference photos and those photos are beautiful and that's also obviously the reason that I uh, like to use them. But uh, I also like to use to give them something extra because I, I try to translate those pictures into a, uh, a painting or drawing and to copy those exactly, those photos, those reference photos exactly uh, is not uh, something that I personally uh, like. I just like to use them. They are a sort of guideline for me to get the image on the, uh, the, the uh, canvas on, on the paper in this, uh, in this case. But, yeah, like I said, I like to give it something extra and that is something that I, uh, for the last year, uh, I'm experimenting with and especially different colors. And the aqua blue colors that uh, for me personally did uh, work well, very well with this uh, beer uh, painting. And so uh, therefore I thought it would be nice to talk about that a little bit more, but that will I do on the end of this tutorial. But first we're going to start with the build up and the materials that I used and how I uh, like to use them. So, uh, let's start that tutorial. And as usual I'm using the Clairefontaine Pastel Matte Paper. It's still my favorite, I think I will uh, be using it for years because it's such a great paper and it takes the pastels so, so very well. And also the pen pastels takes it, uh, takes it very well and I'm starting out with the, uh, with the pens here for the background. The nicest thing of the pen pastels is that you can uh, make quite some uh, different layers. So you can blend quite a lot because the colors are quite vibrant, but you don't need much pen pastel on your paper to uh, let it look good. So therefore I really like the combination of this paper and the pen pastels. And also um, you saw me starting with quite some big sponges. I like to use them for the uh, big parts uh, of a uh, color that I need to lay in and then I'm coming back with these uh, little applicators and uh, try to make some uh, different shapes and details and in this case I'm not focusing on the details too much I want to have it a little bit out of focus so therefore I need to uh, yeah watch that and do not uh, I don't need to make those details too sharp too uh, much visible I need to have them uh, yeah so, sort of blurry effect I was going for here so therefore I'm uh, laying in the different colors different shapes but don't uh, focus too much on the details so I'm starting uh, with the uh, bear now and I like to start with the uh, with the darker colors first and the uh, basically the colors who are uh, the furthest away so therefore uh, in that um, uh, no, not in the skin. In his fur is <coughs> on the uh, yeah the the um, the base of the where the fur starts, I should say. There is a where the, uh, the darkest colors are. There are a lot of shadows, and also um, probably his skin is very dark. I don't know, but I need the dark there, and then I'm building up and slowly working my way through the uh, the lightest portions. And also I have to say, the lightest portions I uh, like to wait in, in the very end for uh, laying in those uh, very strong highlights. I'm just leaving some room for those highlights, so therefore I don't use my uh, white pastel pencils too soon. So I always have something that will stand out. So therefore I'm uh, starting quite dark and building up, and it, might lo it may look uh, quite... Um, light those highlights but that's because the under layers are very dark so it let us uh, let the light color stand out quite uh, quite strongly actually and also a very important factor is here that uh, I need to follow the, the direction of the fur as much as I can also uh, the length of the fur is very important but also the direction the direction will indicate the shape of his head and he has a very 
very large strong head so therefore I, it's, it's very important to uh, follow that direction like I said and it's the same pro process basically again I'm starting out quite dark and building up uh, to the lightest colors that's just the way I really like uh, um, yeah, painting and drawing. I uh, use the same technique in my uh, for my paintings and also for my pastels. And there was uh, quite a lot of green in this picture. I hyped up that green a little bit in Photoshop because I uh, personally liked it, and I also liked the combination of the aqua colors with uh, with that green. And I found the uh, photo, the original, the reference photo of this bear very nice, but uh, kind of a little bit dull. So therefore I thought it uh, would be nice to include, uh, like I said in the intro, quite a lot of colors. We will have a look at those colors uh, later on, a bit up, uh, up closer. But um, also uh, some green, so give, it, uh, give my uh, artwork just, yeah, it's, it's nicer to watch, I think. There's more happening there and therefore... Um, like I said, I uh, like to hype up those contrasts. And the nicest thing is, uh, for me at least, if um, this is not a commission, this is just a, uh, art a piece of artwork that I uh, personally like, like to make. So therefore I have every room to, to try uh, basically every color that I like. And that is uh, something that I uh, really, really enjoy um, by making art. Just the, uh, the ability and the, the basically the freedom to use every color, make every detail you want. It's your artwork. It's that is so nice, <laughs> and I'm saying that because I uh, I will have a commission uh, after this piece in the f in a couple of weeks. It will be uh, will be on my channel, but uh, that's for now um, my last commission. I decided to stop with the commissions. Um, Probably uh, for a few years, I um, we never know what will happen, of course. So, but um, yeah, I like the ability, uh, not the ability, yeah, sort of the ability to make what I want, and also that that freedom that I uh, really enjoy. Uh, in, uh, for example, in this piece, I can do what I want, and that was my main um, reason to make art, to start making art. I just want to make what I like um, in the beginning. And of course, I, I sell art and I really, really enjoy it when some people are really touched by the art that I make, of course. But yeah, I, uh, I miss, uh, with commissions, I miss the, uh, the, the sort of freedom I have to make, uh, to make what I want, basically. Okay, back to the drawing again. Uh, actually, I should say painting, but once again, pastels feels more uh, like drawing to me. But uh, I am, um, like in that note, there was a lot of blue. And I uh, also, in that case, I like to save my highlights for later on. I'm just building up the uh, the details, and here I try to be uh, quite uh, in focus. I need uh, those different shapes. But for this nose, it was a uh, sort of diff difficult uh, because the it's it's quite dark. It's a it's a black nose, obviously, or or, or gray black. And um, as you can see, I use different colors there. But it's basically a very dark. Um, yeah, kind of subject that I'm uh, trying to make here, but there are slightly different um, hues in color. The, uh, the some parts are a little bit lighter than the other ones, but they are very, very close. So therefore, uh, I really take my time to lay in those details, especially around the nose, because it's uh, all the, th the whole nose is kind of dark, but I'm slowly building up, and that's how I get those shapes in there. And to be honest, you don't see much different shape you don't actually see the nose if you are up close it's just different parts different shapes that uh, will come together and uh, indicate a nose basically here i had to be a little bit fluffier because the hair underneath his um, chin in his neck is uh, a bit a bit longer than uh, on, than on the rest of his body so therefore i uh, want to paint it in uh, i've drawn it in quite loose and don't overthink it, just make your uh, strokes and try to copy uh, the different shapes that you see in your reference photo. And I don't be, uh, I'm not uh, a, a completely exact as how, uh, how it shows up in my reference photo, but I'm trying to copy the, uh, yeah, the general uh, way of, of the fur, how it grows and how it looks. So um, that's basically what I'm doing. And as you can see, I'm uh, holding more often that aqua color. I just start to build up. I'm really watching uh, if I'm liking this color or not. But I ended up liking it very, very much. So therefore, as you can see here in the picture of the original piece, 
I uh, I used it quite a lot, and this is personal. I, I really enjoy it. I uh, I like um, like I said, using uh, more different colors in my artwork if I can, and of course it has to be suitable. But for this beer, I really uh, really liked it because otherwise it would be uh, quite um, the colors would be quite the same as the background, and I wanted to let the stand out the beer uh, a little bit more. So therefore, I use these different colors. So I'm gonna try to uh, give you a few of the uh, different colors that I've used and I'm gonna zoom in a little bit as you can see there are a lot of different colors within that brown and that is what I uh, what I personally like I'm gonna zoom out a little bit so I can see the rest of the body a little bit better but um, yeah like I said in the intro I like to uh, give my paintings and drawings a little bit of extra and with extra, I uh, mostly uh, refer to uh, mostly refer to different colors, but also lights and darks. I like to make the darks a little bit darker and the lights a little bit lighter to let them stand out a little bit more. And also, I like to um, give it a little bit more shine and uh, sometimes a little bit more uh, extra. Uh, light in the eyes to let them stand out a little bit more like in this bear I did uh, I, I said, will zoom in a little bit and show you what I mean Oh, I'm sorry I hope don't hope I make you dizzy but let me point it out like the white bits of white in the eyes a little bit there so most of the times there in the pictures are, uh, are a little bit of those uh, lighter spots obviously but I like to uh, put in a few more sometimes to, uh, like I said, to let uh, stand out the eyes a little bit more. Also on the nose, the highlights and the uh, yeah, the, the yeah, basically the highlights and the, the bluish light that is falling on the nose. I like to uh, let it stand out, out a little bit more. Not always, but sometimes I uh, I do that. And uh, to be honest, I do it quite quite often. But it's a uh, it's a matter of personal taste. I just like it uh, to let it. To, yeah, to let it stand out a little bit more because um, that way I make it uh, different uh, than the actual picture. I like to give it something extra. So that's uh, why I uh, use quite a lot of different colors and this aqua shine, those aqua aqua highlights do work really well with the, with the brown tones. And um, once again, you can uh, try different things of course, but I, uh, I like the, the combination of these colors. These colors, I should say. So, as usual, I hope you like this tutorial. And I try to give as much information as I can. And, of course, information that I think that is nice to know or may give you some ideas. Um, that kind of information. But if, all, uh, like always, if you have any request, uh, requests or some questions, please leave them in the comment section below. And uh, you may notice that I not always upload that is because uh, I talked about it before I have my daily job so that takes uh, sometimes quite a lot of time but uh, as it seems now I may have uh, my next tutorial will be about a commission I'm not completely sure we are just working out the uh, the agreement about the uh, commission but um, uh, yeah it may be uh, my, uh, my, my uh, there may be coming up a commission piece it will be a portrait but um, that also will be my last commission for now. I don't know for uh, what kind of time I uh, will not make uh, commissions anymore, but it, it doesn't suit in my schedule. And also, to be honest, I like the freedom of making my own art, the things that I like, and I do it as a hobby. It's, it's, it's a very important hobby for me. And I, I really like doing commissions, don't get me wrong. I really like... Uh, seeing people being very happy with uh, with something that that I make that you make and they can enjoy it very very much but like I said I uh, I'm going to choose for uh, for making uh, my own art and I also sell my art and uh, it's a little bit of extra income um, which uh, which obviously make me really happy and uh, um, sometimes I like to go to some some fairs and that kind of stuff but so yeah, maybe this will uh, there will be one uh, commission coming up, or uh, maybe in, a, in in somewhere in the future. But I think for the for the next few years, I'm gonna stick on my uh, the, my own art, the art that I like to make, and uh, a lot on uh, 
trying new things like introducing more colors uh, working with light there's so much that I really want to uh, try and I think uh, I really like to share it with you guys and uh, like I said because that's how I learn and learned uh, making uh, making art and making better art so therefore I really enjoy um, sharing all the information as I can with you guys so therefore if you not already have you may want to subscribe to my channel and I promise I will give uh, as much information here as I can so thank you for that in uh, advance already and uh, of course to those who already subscribed to my channel and there were quite a few new ones thank you for that it's really appreciated and um, yeah that's basically everything for now thank you for watching and I hope to see you at one of my next tutorial bye bye